Is your Windows PC taking forever to start up? Don't worry. In this video, I'll show you quick and easy ways to fix slow startup on Windows 11 and Windows 10. By the end of the video, your PC will boot much faster. But before we dive in, if you are new to my channel, kindly click on the subscribe button, like and turn on the bell notification for more tech tips. Now let's get started. So to speed up boot time, you need to watch this video to the end so that I don't miss any of the steps, okay? So to get started, I've listed some of the steps you need to take, okay? So let me bring my whiteboard and then we discuss them and then we demonstrate as well. So the first thing we need to look out for is disable unnecessary startup programs, okay? So we have to disable unnecessary startup programs. So there are programs that start automatically after a restart of the system or after a reboot of the system, okay? And it takes high resources, okay? The resources being used are very high. So you need to, on, um, to disable some of the startup programs that are taking high resources. And to do that, you right click on the tax bar and then you go to tax manager. And then you click on startup apps, okay? And then you add a startup impact, you see medium, low, high. So these are high startup impact. So it also slows down your system, okay, when the system is booting. So you can go through your list and then you, the ones you don't need to start at, um, after the restart, you can disable them. And to disable any of the startup programs, you right click on it and then you click on disable. okay so it's disabled okay it's, it's disabled you can see from here it's disabled so to enable it you right click on it and then you click on enable okay so and also when you click on the application you can disable it from here and also you can enable it from here okay so you can go through your list and then once you don't need a startup you disable them okay for your system to boot a bit fast or faster so the next step to take is enable fast startup okay so windows has an option that helps you enable fast startup and this option at times is enabled by default okay so let me show you so to do that you click on start and then you go to control panel okay let me click on the search and then go to control panel and then i click on power options then we'll click on choose what the power button does okay so you see shutdown settings so turn off turn on fast startup recommended so by default it's turn on okay and it says this helps start your pc faster after shutdown restart isn't affected so you see it's turn on by default okay so supposing it's not turn on let me show you So supposing if you click on the choose what the power button does, okay, and it's not turned on by default, you can turn it on. By doing that, um, to do that, you click on the change settings that are currently unavailable, okay, and then you check this option, turn on fast startup. Then you click on save changes. You don't have to restart your system. The changes have been saved, okay. So when I go back there, you see it's been checked, okay. So so the other option you need to look up for for the slow startup is remove bloatwares and unused applications okay and bloatware refers to unwanted software that can be installed on a device such as mobile phone um, smartphone computers or tablets okay and examples of some of the bloatwares are manufacturers bloatwares okay so they are pre-installed applications that came from the manufacturer okay and also there are drivers like softwares that has a shortcut on your pc like antivirus softwares it's not installed or you use the try version after the try version it has you to pay they are all broadwares like the we have some of the office applications like microsoft 365 it also has some pre-installed that when the um expired versions um is exceeded you need to pay they are all broadwares so you need to uninstall or remove broadwares and on un unused applications okay and to do that you click on the start and then you go to settings and then you go to apps then you click on installed apps 
So these are all the applications I have installed on my system. Okay. So to check for a Bloodway application, you need to copy the application or the, the, the name of the particular application. Then you go and search for it if it's a Bloodway or not. And also we have some applications we've installed on our PCs that we don't use them more often. Okay. We don't need them, but we've installed. Okay. We use them, but it's not more often and it's taking space and it's slowing down our system. So to install a particular application or to uninstall a particular application, so let me demonstrate to you. So if I want to uninstall this Microsoft Teams, I'll click on this three dots and then I'll click on uninstall. Okay. So that is basically how to go about it with regards to the um, bloatwares and unused applications. Okay. And the second, okay, we've, we've discussed this. So the next thing we have to look up for is update drivers and windows. It also helps to speed up your system. Okay. This also helps to speed up your system when you update your drivers and windows because um, it can improve boot time by optimizing system performance. Okay. It reduces startup delays and fixes compatibility issues. So you need to always check for updates. Okay. You have to check for updates each and every time. And to check for updates for your system, you click on the start and then you click on settings. And then you scroll down and you click on Windows Update. Okay, so you see you are up to date. So the last checked date is today at 2 11 or 14 11. So you can check for updates by clicking on check for updates. So if there are available updates, it will pop up and then you install them automatically. So it also helps to boot up your system. Okay. So you have to check for update periodically. Okay. Or the system does the checks for you and installed and prompt you for installation. Okay. So it also helps to boot up your system. So you don't have to ignore windows updates or driver updates. Okay. So let's move to the next step. <coughs> Sorry, which is defragment and optimize. So let me explain here for you, okay? When you are using HDD, okay? HDD, HDD is the fragment, okay? But when you are using SSD, okay? Drive, SSD drives, okay? When you are using SSD drives, when you are using HDD drives is the fragment. But when you are using SSD drives, solid state drives is optimized. Okay. So you need to optimize your drive as well, your hard disk drive. Okay. And to optimize your hard disk drive for performance, you click on the browse and on the folder icon, any folder icon. Okay. And then you click on this PC and then you right click on the local drive C and then you go to properties. Then you click on tools. So you see, optimize and defragment drive okay so i'll click on optimize but when you are the system i'm using is ssd okay that's the reason you're seeing optimize if i'm using hdd drive or hard disk drive you see defragment okay so i'll click on the optimize and then i can optimize my local drive c okay so i'll click on optimize so you see it's done optimizing the drive i can do the same thing for the drive d and also you can schedule the optimization okay so you see here which is turn on you can change the settings from here so you can do it weekly or daily or monthly per your preference okay so that is how to schedule the optimization so you need to optimize the drive as well for for to run more efficiently okay and the next step we have to look out for is to clear the temporal files. Okay. And temporal files helps programs run smoothly by storing information needed for short term use. Okay. Or for short term tasks. So it, it stores information for short term tasks. So you need to clear your temporal files. Some of the files are not needed and it's occupying this space. Okay. And in the process of clearing the temporal files, okay, the ones which are in use will not be cleared because they are currently used or they are stored for like they are not um they are not old temporal files okay so you also have to clear your temporal files it also helps to boot your system or your boot time so to do that you click on the search 
okay and then you shift and then do percentage so inside the percentage you type temp okay this is a shortcut to do that okay and then you click on open so you see these are all my temporal files and it's occupying this space you see so I need to delete all these temp files it also helps to boot your system so to delete these temp files you select all and then you click delete okay so I'll continue to delete all these temporal files so you need to follow these steps for your system to boot faster okay if you are experiencing slow boot booting or slow startup you need to follow these outlines and then your system will be okay you see these ones are not going okay So it's recycling them. So after I've deleted them, it goes to the recycle bin, which also occupies hard disk space. So you, if you have a whole bunch of temp, temp files on your system, it will slow down your system. So you see, these ones are files that are currently in use or they are current temp files, okay? So it wouldn't be deleted. So let me close this and then and then I'll go to the recycle bin and then I'll demonstrate to you okay so this is a recycle bin so you see these are all the 10 files I have in the recycle bin so I need to empty the recycle bin to speed up my system okay so I'll click on empty recycle bin and then and then it will free dig space as well okay it will free my dig space so it also helps to boot your system okay okay so i've cleared all the 10 files so the last step we have to look out for is to reduce the boot time okay so we are going to re reduce the boot time for our os okay and to do that windows logo key and r okay and then we type syst okay it's there already syst dm.cpl okay then we click on okay so we'll click on advanced and then at the startup and recovery we click on settings okay by default windows take 30 seconds to um display the list of operating systems okay so you can reduce this one as well you can reduce the seconds you want it to take to any seconds you want per your preferences okay you can reduce this to let's say 10 10 seconds how you want it okay and the default operating system is windows 11 that is the one i have installed on my system okay so you can reduce it and then click OK, and then you click on okay so it also helps to speed up your boot time okay and that is it this brings us to the end of the tutorial by following these steps your windows pc should boot up much faster did these steps work for you let me know in the comments okay don't forget to like subscribe and hit on the bell icon for more tech tips thank you for watching and bye bye